Hello everybody, Kara James here from Pursue and Thrive Business Coaching and SAB. Super excited to be here today and wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite things in the world, offers. We're talking offer creation. So there's a lot that goes into an offer. Um, so we're not going to get into everything since this is business tips and minutes, but we're going to talk about uh, kind of just the skeleton and the main pieces of it and what you want to have, right? So first of all, you want the one thing that they want to achieve. What does your client want to achieve? The A to B, not the A to Z, right? What's the one, uh, I, you know, the, the saying is, what's the one problem? It's not necessarily described as always as a problem. It's kind of, you know, what is the transformation they want to make? you know, where do they want to go? What It doesn't have to be uh, a deep rooted problem per se. It needs to be a transformation. So, uh, you know, not many say that, but that's the truth on that. Um, you want to show your credibility, right? What's your experience? Is it education? Is it that you've already been through this before? Uh, is it that you've, you know, been, um, involved well that would be your experience but involved in this for ongoing for your life and you've helped so many people that type of thing um what's the cost bias for them right what's what's the pain for them what's it going to cost them if they don't have this fixed is it financial are they going to lose money you know as a business coach that's that's pretty much where um, my clients are at, of course, is, you know, it's their business, right? If I can't grow my business, I'm not making any money. Is it time? And time, a lot of times, <laughs> is more important than money. Um, you know, especially if we have some, time is more important. And especially as we get older and uh, want to spend time with our, doing the things we love, being with family members, being with friends and, and that type of thing. So you don't want to be losing time over whatever it is that your client uh, needs help with. Emotionally, where are they at emotionally with it, right? What what does this mean if they're not, you know, if they don't get this taken care of, what's going to happen? Uh, and there's many variables in that, but um, that that's huge. Our emotional health or emotional well-being um, is worth, <laughs> there's no price tag on it, so... Um, this is where, you know, this is where the, the offer really takes hold is in the cost bias. What is it going to cost if you stay where you're at right now? What's the social proof that you have? Who have you helped before? What have you done? What are your case studies? What are your, you know, you do you have testimonials? For those just starting out, um, testimonials can be character references. You know, I don't want to get too in the weeds here and I'm not promoting people trying to start the business when they don't know when they can't really help somebody um, I'm not saying that, you know that's you but there's an awful lot out there going on right now it's very very noisy um, what I'm saying is if you have the experience if you have the education if you really can coach someone because when I got into it, it was, oh, if you're just one step ahead, you just need to be one step ahead. Well, I, I don't know. It's a little bit, it's a little bit much, okay? Um, especially for what people are charging. So that's, that's where I'm at with that. Um, if you, for example, if you have a new program, obviously you haven't run anybody through the program yet. What, what are your other testimonials and case studies on that? So you can use those. Same thing with risk reversal. What can you offer to your client that is within reason, that is fair to them and fair to you? You certainly don't want to lose out. You know, a lot of times with the coaching programs, because it is time, you'll see there's no money back guarantee. Yeah, you know, kind of get it, rightfully so. You put in the time and they didn't want to uh, do what they were supposed to do. However, if again we're talking about irresistible offers and how to get people into the into the offer um, without uh, you know lying it's what can you offer them within reason 
say if you prove you know you've you've done the work or whatever it is there's again so many variables with offers um that you would be able to whether it's monetarily or i'll stay with you coach you till you know as long as you're doing what you need to do a lot of people don't then i will stay with you and uh, make sure that you get results <clears throat> something to that effect right just promising that you're gonna you're gonna you know do everything you can as long as they are doing what they need to do uh, that is that's pretty irresistible right there right it's kind of a no-brainer yeah i will pay for that <laughs> Um, scarcity and urgency, again, without being fake, um, you want to offer with whatever's going on, whether you truly make it a limited time and that is suggested, um, you know, is there a limited amount that they have to pay to get in or is there a discount they get or that type of thing? Um, what can you offer? an early bird special, something like that, that I'm getting at is what can you offer them to get them in right away um, for, for less money? The FAQs. So you definitely want to have some frequently asked questions. And with those, you're going to take every objection that you ever had, never will have. You have to figure this out in your mind. What would they, you know, what are they going to come at me with? That if they don't have the time, that they don't have the money, that they don't, you know, think ahead. What is it that they're going to come at me with? What are their objections? And then you're going to answer every single one of those in your FAQs as a question. You're going to reverse it, ask the question, and clear their mind of that. Um, bonuses are my just <laughs> just the best. Okay, the bonuses will really take anybody over the fence. So depending on the size of the offer, the cost of the offer, if it's a low ticket, um, oddly enough, sometimes it's better to have more. And then if it's a high ticket, you're going to throw in offers that are the bonuses that are worth a lot more, but there's only one or two. Right? It's just something that, oh my gosh, this is insane. I have to, this is going to push me over the edge to get it. Um, whether it be, let's say it's, well, a coaching program, right? So you're going to get unlimited Voxer for a month or whatever, two months. Um, that's worth a lot because people want their questions answered ASAP. So if you can get, if you're going to sign on with this coach, on a high ticket program and you can have access to them for a couple of months any questions you have at any time of the day um, not saying that they get back to you at midnight but just it's nice to send that message in boxer and you know know that you, you don't have to wait you don't have to wait till the group coaching or what have you um, so that's a beautiful bonus for a high ticket is a boxer service um, and for you personally if you're doing it it doesn't have to take up a ton of your time. You can set limits on it, like unlimited Voxer on Monday, Wednesdays, or, or you know, Monday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, something like that. Just that, that extra bonus. Um, of course, there's the container of how you're going to offer it, the duration, how long it'll be, and the price goes along with all of that. There's a lot to figure out. We can talk about that another day. I've, <laughs> I've gone beyond my minutes today. Um, but I get, like I said, I love this topic. So I'm happy to come at you with it. And hopefully you got some, some gold nuggets out of it. All right. I will see you soon.